I'm back. <laughs> hey everyone. Yes, this is Moyo and I'm back. I know I've been taking a break. If you're new here, welcome. It's so good to have you in this corner of the internet. I talk about all things personal development, fashion, and just day-to-day -day life, you know. I'm going to be sharing different things, but in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the PMP certification. I'm going to tell you what the PMP is, how to get qualified for it, and how to take the exam completely free. Also, how do you study and pass to take the exam just one time? So stick around and let me give you all of the tips and tricks. All right, so what's the PMP certification? It's the project management professional certification and if you're trying to go into the project management field and I think that's kind of like the in thing right now <laughs> PMP you know everyone else go, go into project management so if you're interested in going into project management this certification is very valuable it's very well recognized all over the world and it kind of helps you show that you're able to apply some of the project management methodologies and techniques um, from from a um, from an industry standard standpoint um, so basically you know it's just another thing to add to the back of your pocket to um, set you as, as apart from the next candidate when you're applying to jobs and you're interviewing and so on and so forth so I'm going to be sharing I, I passed I took and passed the exam last year so I'm PMP certified I'm just going to be sharing my personal experience and you know hopefully it's helpful for you so how do you get qualified for the PMP um, if you go to pmi.org, I'm going to be linking a bunch of resources down in the comments in the description box so just go down there and whatever I say that you don't catch, just go down there and you're going to see all of the links and the descriptions there. So how do you qualify for the PMP exam, the PMP certification? You need to have 35 hours of project management training. So maybe school training, maybe you took a project management course, um, or maybe you actually go take like a, a formal training from a project management trainer. Or whatever you know you just you just have to be able to prove that you have some type of project management standard industry standard project management training so you need 35 hours of that and then you also need to um, have 36 months of total work experience as a project manager and you know it doesn't necessarily have to be that those roles are strictly project management roles you know maybe you have like part project management um, responsibilities and other responsibilities around it um, you just have to be able to show that you do have project management experience and they must total 36 months 36 months and this is me asking me that you already have a bachelor's degree because that is also one of the requirements you do need a bachelor's degree to be qualified for the certification and I believe when I took it, I was asked to submit some um, documentation to show, not really documentation, but basically I had to fill out a form where I listed all of my work experience and um, broke them down into the different um, project management um, groups, the knowledge areas that you're expected to know. Um, as a project management professional so I had to do that and submit it so typically they would approve um, and on some occasions they will ask you they will audit your application and basically they will ask for more details more information it might be them contacting your managers or um, or them asking maybe for your resume or whatever but they would definitely I've never been I was not audited so um, I'm not exactly sure how it works but if you do get audited um, it's it's typically you providing more information to back up whatever you put down during your application process so um, so yeah once you get qualified to take the exam you can go ahead and register for the exam I'm going to talk about how I prepared for the exam and how I did not pay a dime for my PMP certification. So first of all, I told my boss at work, my manager at work, that I wanted to take the PMP certification as part of my professional development goals. And I wanted the company, my current company, to pay for it. So I always tell people, ask. 
if you work for a good company chances are they're trying to develop you they want to develop you they want you to grow they want you to be better at your job so anything that you're gonna do any education um, certification or whatever that you're going to do that's going to make that goal achievable they will be willing to back you up so just always start off by asking for your company to pay for something that would develop you professionally um, or, that, or that will make you better at your job because that's what they want right so basically I spoke to my manager and I was like hey like there's this certification that I'm interested in I'm a project manager I'm trying to you know be better I'm trying to learn industry standards of project management and be able to apply that to my current role um, this is how much it costs I had also already looked up training institutes because I wanted a formal training um, so I used PMTI I'm also going to link them down in the description box note that they're not paying me for this it's just my personal experience that I'm sharing so um, I used the PMCI, their training, I would warn you though that their training is very expensive. I think I paid about $2,000. Of course, I didn't pay personally for it, but my company paid for it. Paid for it. Um, I paid about $2,000 um, for a three-day boot camp. So basically, it's like a crash course boot camp where they take you through all of the steps. Or basically, they're taking you through the pinball guide. Another acronym. <laughs> What's the pinball guide? If you're actually on your way to taking the PMP exam, I'm sure my guess is that you've already done your research and you already know all the things that you need to be qualified and to prepare for the exam. But in case you haven't gotten to that stage yet, the pinball guide is the project management book of knowledge. It basically has everything that a project manager should know. So it, it, it goes through a bunch of knowledge areas and the key skills, the tools and techniques, and a bunch of different things that you need to know as a project manager. So it's the standard, it's, it's, considered, it's considered the standard for project managers, it's the industry standard. So basically, um, it, it's, it's like the Bible for project managers. So the PMP exam is based off of this PMBOK guide a huge book by the way it's very very bulky um and it could be overwhelming if you just like if you're studying on your own i personally didn't want that i wanted like a tutor um type learning environment so that's why i chose the pmti um learning so my experience with pmci it was you know like i said a three-day crash course where we just went over um some of their materials they had sent the materials to me ahead of time um they also give you an online access to be able to go through some of the materials they have a bunch of practice ex practice exams and questions on the website and um you know it's just basically like a self-guided um tool that you have online in addition to that three-day crash course which is instructor-led so I went through the three-day boot camp and I was also this this was virtual by the way because it was during COVID so I was supposed to go in person and have an actual instructor teach us but I but of course that was cancelled because I was in the middle of COVID and everyone had you know gone virtual so we had to have it virtual but we still it was still live and it was still um led by an instructor so the boot camp every day from eight to five we went through the materials we would have tests quizzes and exams at the end of every day and you know you basically just immerse yourself into the project management training preparing for the pmp so you live breathe eat <laughs> think pmp for all of three days at the end of the third day um you basically take a actually it's a four day it's a four day it's it's a four day boot camp not a three day boot camp i took a four day boot camp um but anyways <laughs> four days at the end of the fourth day you would take like a an exam simulator which basically simulates what the pmp is going to be like and you know the 200 questions you go through them and you 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 get it you get graded basically and then you know that kind of gives you an idea of where you stand with the actual exam 
mind you i took my exam last year and this was while the pmp was still in the old format so the pmi that's the project management institute that's that's the board that um certifies you basically um they recently changed the structure of the exam i don't exactly know what the new structure is but my guess is it's not going to be too far off from from the old one in terms of what you're expected to know basically you're still going to use the pinball guide um maybe the pinball guide was updated i'm not sure so just make sure you understand the difference between the old and the new exam so you know what you're preparing for but my experience is based on the old exam and uh, but I, I believe that there are still some things that you can learn from my experience, like the tools that I used that would be helpful for you. So, um, so yeah, after the boot camp, I did not take the exam immediately. I waited for about two more weeks. I registered for the exam. Um, of course, my company agreed to pay for everything, my training and the registration fee, as well as my um, PMI yeah i annual subscription i subscribe to the member the membership um subscription so they paid for all of that and i was able to sit for the exam two weeks after the boot camp i just wanted to give give myself enough time because the boot camp was really really intense it was fast like if you're the kind of person that you learn slowly, it might not be the best option for you. But I would just say that for me, I wanted to get this out of the way. I wanted to take the exam and just get it over with. I had other things going on in my life. So it was important that I just concentrate on that exam, take it and move on to other things. Um, so I, I practiced some more. I, pra I did some more practice questions outside of PMTI. I used resources from uh, from Reader uh, Morkay's um, resources from Oliver Lehman, um, you know, Ricardo, I forget what his last name is, but Ricardo Vargas, I think. I'm going to link all of them in the description box. So they, these are all like renowned project management trainers and they also send in questions for the actual PMP exam. So they're they're examiners basically and they, they've been doing this for years and years and they know how PMP structure works and how they kind of the examiners think and how they set the questions so it's helpful to go through some of the resources they have a lot of free resources online so in case you are not able to get your company to pay for it and you're going to be doing this all by yourself there is a lot a lot of resources out there like even free ones that you can use or ones that are not as expensive as the pmti that i used so i would say google google is your friend <laughs> go on google and dig 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 there's something out there there's a lot of things out there that would you would find useful and helpful like i mentioned pmp has changed since i took it so it's very important that all of these resources that i'm um highlighting you make sure that they've also updated their training to um incorporate the new changes that pmi um has made overall how was the exam for me the exam was hard i'm sure you know this pmp is a hard exam it, it takes a lot of um it, it takes a lot of i would i wouldn't say cramming but you kind of have to cram at some points to be honest because there are just some things that they want you to know that you need to at least you need to know your knowledge areas you need to know you know how everything connects how the inputs processes the outputs and tools and techniques connect together you need to know all of those things so it's like in a way you kind of have to memorize things exactly how pmi wants it and another thing that I will say is that whatever experience you've had in project management, every company has their project management tools and techniques and, and the way they kind of run their projects. I want you to know that it's not always consistent with what PMI wants. So PMI is the absolute perfect scenario of what project management should be like. And it kind of helps project management to project managers to um you know, set, set their minds on the gaps between what their companies are doing right now and what it should actually look like for them to actually close that gap. So um, I would say that if you've had project management experience and you've been working for a while, sometimes it's easy to just use your instincts when answering some of those questions as well. What would I do at work? 
and you just pick that but be careful because it's not that's not always the right thing to do we all know how like you know you have to make some practical changes while you're working in day-to-day -day real life um but i would say that pmi wants you to follow the rules so make sure that you learn the rules and not always speak what's instinctive to you um so the exam was hard you know you know it's a long exam it's four hours um and you have 200 questions that you have to answer within those four hours uh, so make sure that you're prepared for it mentally another another advice that i would give you is that try to take the exam as soon as possible after you've learned all that you need to learn don't prolong it for too long because for me i didn't want to forget it was easy for me to forget like things that i had learned in the past so for me i think i set aside like one month total to take the pmp exam so from with the boot camp with me you know brushing up on things um you know prior to the boot camp i had gone over some of the resources that they had sent me just you know not fully but just you know flipping through some pages here and there um the research and also within one month i was prepared as i took the exam and passed it once so i know people that have taken it twice three times multiple times really um so it's it's something that you need to set your mind to to know that if for me i was like I, I have to take this one time and forget about it i know it's not always that easy for everyone um but i would just say that try your best to um you know practice as much as possible get it out of the way really just focus on taking the pmp for that period of time and just get it done i think those are the major things that you need to know there's so much more in terms of you know the i'm not going to go deep into the actual learning process um what you need to know that's what the trainers are for the people that are actually like professionals that have trained for years um to teach other people how to take the pmp certification now before i go i'm just going to talk a little bit about you know have i found the having pmp useful that's one thing that people ask me do i need a pmp to be a project manager absolutely not i know people that are project managers right now that don't have pmp and they're great project managers um so i would just say that it's for me the way i think about it is that you know if it's something that helps me that i feel like it helps me become a project manager a better project manager right now why not like it's just another exam and who knows when you're trying to make a career move that might be what sets you apart between you know the other candidates and yourself that you're trying to pick from so i would just say that in some cases it gets your foot in the door having a pmp you have some roles that would require a pmp certified project manager so it doesn't hurt to have it is it absolutely necessary i don't think so personally you can still be a project manager you can work for great companies without a pmp certification but you know you never know that might be what you need to get that job so do you that's all i'm gonna say do you boo boo um so yeah that's all i have if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me my contacts on socials i'm always happy to talk about my experience if you need some help regarding the pmp certification reach out to me i'll be happy to help i hope you guys have a lovely lovely rest of your week mm -hmm.